Make sure that smile that we see on the outside has a matching smile on the inside. I see you. You're smiling for the cameras. You're smiling for the world. But you're dying on the inside. I tell you recently, this is something that hit my heart. This guy, see him all the time on social media, and every time I saw him, he uplifted me. He made me feel better. He brought a smile to my face. You see him, he's with his family and it's all smiles and it's all positive energy. And then all of a sudden you hear that he, he's dead. And I'm like, how did he die? I went and did a little research and I found out that he committed suicide. Didn't make any sense to me. I'm like, how can somebody that seems so happy that brought so much joy to the world, that helped so many other people feel better about themselves. How could this guy commit suicide? When you see somebody, you have no idea what they're really dealing with. So I wanna help you make sure you have a smile, not only on the outside, but more importantly, on the inside. So the first tip, first thing that I use is I use what I call the shut it down method. Positive self-talk only. Each and every time a negative thought pops into my brain, I, I shut it down. And I instantly replace it with something that's gonna be productive to my mental. Mental health is wealth. So I need you to divorce that self-doubt, negative mindset, and marry a new self-belief. Go win it all, Brian said. Number two, I use positive releases because I know those negative demons are gonna attack. I know things are gonna happen on a daily basis that are totally out of my control that I'm not gonna like. And a lot of times they're gonna weigh on me. Just like right now, something that's happened to you recently is weighing on you. And you have so much pent up frustration, so much pent up negative energy so much tension that you need to release. For me, I use my coaching, I use my writing, I use hip hop, I use whatever I can to get that negativity out of my system. I need you to figure out and I need you to know what your positive releases are. Because if you keep letting that stuff build up, that's when you start using drugs, that's when you start abusing alcohol, that's when you start abusing other people. Use your positive release. You figure out what it is. It might be singing. It might be dancing. It might just be watching TV. Whatever it is that you need to do, it might be screaming. Sometimes you just got to get somewhere and scream and let it all go. Because if you don't, you're putting yourself in a position to be in a dark place. Again, I need that smile that we see on the outside to have a matching smile on the inside. So please use your positive releases. I know I do. Number three, last but not least, sometimes we need to reach out for help. It's okay to not be okay, but it's not okay to not call or reach out to somebody, whether it's via text, whether it's social media, Whatever it is that you need, whoever it is you need, don't be afraid to reach out and say, this is just too much for me. I need some words. I need some tips. I need some tools. These videos, this audio, this is to help you get through your go through. So please do not be afraid to reach out and ask for help. Sometimes you get to look back and say, you know what? That was one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. Picking up my phone, or Google searching, or watching a video, or talking to whoever it is. Don't be ashamed of that. Hey, we all need help sometimes, and it's okay. That's why I'm here checking in on you. So never, ever, ever be afraid to ask for help if there's something that you're going through. So the whole thought process is to make sure that that outer smile that we see has a matching inner smile. And if you use these three tips, 
I promise you, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go.